Hi there, greetings and all that. Let's see if everything works today, shall we? My name is Alan Cox. Thank you very much for being here. Say hi to Bam Bam Bill Squire. He's back in the friendly confines. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys. Video today. A video back. The whole bit. Mary Santora is in Los Angeles, California. What up? And Pound Cake is back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. Bill, yesterday, I had this whole room to myself. How was it? It was, there was no video. It was just me in here. It was glorious. Do you want it me? was fantastic. Do you want me to go home? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying that, but I'll tell you what. Mary and Cody and I, we really got to know each other. Oh. Um, you know, the, we've been working together for a while. I've never met them in person. Uh, so it was really, really exciting. Ironic, too, for me to finally meet them when they're in two different uh, studios. In two different states, well, quite I hope frankly, they lived up to the hype. Oh boy, did it! It uh, certainly did. I got a ride from Pound Cake today to pick up my car, and it was in the new ride. In his new ride. In his new ride, I still have the same old car that I've had. Just get a little work done, and he dropped me off at Terry's, and it, Ding. yeah, and um, <laughs> he somehow took longer to get back to the studio than I did. Mm-hmm. Because I, I had to go and get my car, and like they had to tell me what was going on within it, all that stuff. So I was there for a few minutes, and I get here, and he's still not here yet. How did I beat you back here, Pound Cake? First of all, I want to know what you thought. Do you think I got into like a car accident? Did no. Did you think I got abducted? What did nope. you think? I absolutely thought you... He thought you were driving the speed limit the got whole lost. way. Got lost, <laughs> yes. I thought you got lost. Well... Little do you know, I did get lost. Um, <laughs> Dude, it's on. It's no, like down the street. I, I didn't, I didn't take the it is for some two reason. turns. I don't oh, understand no. how anyone gets lost anymore with their phone. Oh well, the, I didn't plug it into my phone. I thought I had it under control. The, it's not even Bill's fault. So what did I, you do? I, I, I'm going to tell you, but I would just want to preface this by saying I was irritated just because I it was it threw off my morning routine. I, I'm used to doing the same thing every day. Every every minute, every second is allotted from from the time I start my morning job to the time I get here. So throwing a wrench in that just kind of throws me off and it gets me discombobulated. So I'm like you. I feel you on that. So when well, Bill, I appreciate the ride. So I know. and I'm sorry I threw off your routine. It, Again, it's not it's not your fault. Life happens, and I would ex- fully expect one of you to do the same thing for me. And I'm pretty sure you have. I'm sure at some point over the years. You blow it. But when I was on the east side, I'm like, okay, this is also a place I'm not too familiar with. The only time I've ever gone to the east side is if I'm going to Leather Stallion or I'm going to the bathhouse. So that's like what I'm most familiar with. And I was like, okay, I kind of recognize this area. I know to get back towards where I need to go. Not my house, but like towards do- the downtown direction. Why didn't you just I- put work in Google Maps? Because I didn't think it was that serious. I knew I thought there was. Oh, you an were gonna? No, I see. I thought there was. He, he thought an he's exit. gonna big boy it. He thought he was gonna. Yeah, just... I knew where to go. I'm, I'm a isn't, Clevelander. Isn't Terry's like <laughs> ten minutes east of here? Not even. Not it's even. like Less four than minutes. That. Right. You just take. What is it, St. Clair? It's right down St. Clair. St. Clair. Yeah, it's right yeah. All the way down to like, Ninth. So, so instead of taking the, the road that I came on, like the entire road that leads to downtown, I'm thinking I'm going to go turn and get on the freeway. I got on the freeway, and I, and I took it all the way down because I'm like, there's an ex- there's got to be an East Ninth exit. No, not, no. not 90 because there's a 77 exit that goes south. And I'm like, I don't get on that because that goes south. And so I'm like, oh, wait, I'm getting on 90, like – the only time it breaks is when you go to 71 and then like 90 so all the way down. Did you go all the way to 44th? I, I went to 14th. 14th, okay. I got off So you got 14th. off in Tremont, okay. He's yeah. like circling around the steel yard and he's. Dude. No, so I went to 14th and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, like mm, Clark Bar, right there. Abbey Avenue, that's right. Soon, soon as I pass Chester, I realize I messed up. <laughs> like, <laughs> I got, because I was like, we don't take Chester. I, I, like, Chester leads, that's not where I need to go. I need to go to East 9th or, you know, Ontario. So there's got to be, they closed that exit a long time ago. I don't know why I thought, again, it's because I'm thrown off. 1.8 miles. You managed to mess up less than two miles and two turns. I should have just stayed on the road, but I didn't think about that. I'm like, I'm thinking driving straight Mm -hmm. downtown, more traffic lights. But doesn't your car, doesn't your car tell you which direction, it's a new car, and your car tell you which direction you're going? 
And if was, it says due west, just keep driving west. I was going the right direction. I knew how to get to downtown. It's just I it was a bunch Obviously of Obviously you did not. No, no I did. Not. I was downtown. I just didn't get up on <laughs> at the you right spot. You shouldn't have gotten back onto the highway. That was Only you would already time. be downtown and get lost trying to get to downtown. downtown. <laughs> But east side, that the east side. Stop is calling not, that the east side. That's it not. Is. That's it's not, not the east side. It's like yet. five minutes it's, east of it's, here. It's, so when I it's lived, just it's, on the other side of the CSU campus. So when I lived on East 30th and Prospect, I, I had a downtown apartment. Yes. yes. That was downtown. Yes. Because every time I, I it's like not that, the east side. It east was, side doesn't start until after like 55th. It was east. Pro, it was. Once you get past Avenue MLK, east. that's east yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> My address was, was Prospect Avenue East, so it was past East East 30th. And well, yes, because address-wise in Cleveland, there's the demarcation line between east and west, but we that's are, not east side. We're across the street from East 6th Street. That doesn't mean we're on the east side. It's the east side. We're on the east side. Yeah, what, east 9th is down. What, what, is once side. you get past the big buildings, once you get past, like, Wolstein Center, you're on the east side. You're hmm. on the east side. Well, right, we were well. we were about even with the Wolstein Center. No, we weren't. Yeah, we were. <laughs> no, we weren't. It's I a, just don't know. We were just up a couple blocks. Because I used to live right by the Wilson Center, and right. we were not by that. Well, no, ma- Gwen breaks my balls. I'm talking about the far, how east we were. Gwen breaks my balls all the time because no matter where we are, I put I, on my phone, I either put home or work. And, I mean, obviously, I know I get to work, but no matter where. So we had a lot. I was talking about this yesterday. We had a long night on Saturday. We went out with our friends, the Beaters and the Burgess. Had some dinner, went out, had some drinks. So we're taking the Burgess home, and they live in Lakewood. And so we're going from the Harbor Inn to Lakewood. Now, I know how to do that, and I also know how to get from their house to our house. I put it in my phone. Gwen goes, you don't even – I go, I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. I don't care. She's breaking my balls. All I have to do is look at my phone. I know where I'm going. She's like, you know where you're going. I don't care. I'm putting it in my phone. I'm not – why am I going to get lost? Why am I going to be in the wrong lane? It tells me where to go. That's all I need. Two in the morning, that's all I need. Tell me where to go. You got lost going from downtown to downtown. I got lost got going lost from the east take, side to downtown. Have taken, it's the same street. Yeah, and you, honestly, I can't really give you crap. Well, he's learned. He's I learned something now. been on the road and taken the wrong highway multiple times. But where that's it's like different than being in the city you live in. I thought it was quicker. I thought it was quicker. I thought there was an exit. <laughs> a few I, blocks from where you used to yeah. live. Yeah, no, that's true. You're right. Yeah, how did you get lost in the area you used to live? Because I didn't go, because I lived over there and I knew it was not downtown, so I didn't go past a certain area. After I got past... He was too busy throwing hands back then to yeah. really pay attention to his surroundings. He had no situational awareness because he was getting in so many scrums. I probably went up to probably about west... I ventured out to like West 40th Street. I think there's like a, a car lot over there that I got my car fixed one time, and that's as comfortable as I was going. Like there's like a Firestone thing over there, um, and that's that's just, I'd never walked my dog. I never ventured over that way. Anything that I had to get, I traveled to the east side, like hmm. or, or west side. So it, it is what it is. All You're right, like West Six, <laughs> the West Side. It's mm-hmm. very fun. Yeah, <laughs> really enjoyed that. I'm you sure. don't know I, what again, you don't know until you know it. I appreciate the ride. <laughs> Shut up, Bill. Get appreciate out. Appreciate you dropping me off. <laughs> just get out. I should have just wait, waited and slowed down just a little bit and just pushed him out. Like he farted in yeah. your car. You would have kicked him right out of there Bill's, and not even I, thought. Someone's getting big for his britches if he thinks two weeks ago into Orange Theory and he can push me around. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, Bill, is, not only did I drop him off, but he was particular where I dropped him off. Like yes, in front driver. of the place. No, I, he was like, get behind that truck right there. I'm like, okay, I'm behind the truck. He's like. A little further. I'm like, Bill, it's right there. Walk. Oh, man. Where did you oh, want? listen to him. Where did you the... want to drop him off? Why is that such a big it, ask? I dropped him off at like a traffic light. It was literally, there was a car on the other side of the intersection that was parked. It's like when he's, and, it's like he's your dad taking you to a party and you don't want your friends seeing you getting dropped off. It wasn't just, around just the block. Just drop me around the block here at the light. Oh, my goodness. I, wow, Cody has been working out ask. for two weeks, he and he's to... like, you can walk. This is the same guy who three months ago didn't want to do anything. <laughs> well, he's on feeling his himself all now. Day. <laughs> that tangerine like, hypothesis. Just ta- you could take a couple steps. <laughs> to the point that I get lost. I'm feeling myself so much. Don't forget where you came from, brother. You had Hawaiian rolls in your underneath your boobies. You had crumbs <laughs> tucked away for later munching. Uh, I don't remember where I came uh, from, clearly. Oh, my God. 
Good You're for him. He's going to get a downtown loft apartment, and we're never going to Good for him. him. Gonna... That's the best part of evolving is leaving everyone behind in the dust. <laughs> and it'll be the real downtown. Is forgetting mm-hmm. everyone you ever met. <laughs> oh, God. I got a break. Want some money? I'll have that for you closer to 2.30. Another chance for you to go fund yourself is $1,000 with all these keywords, and we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio. 